Hi, fellow Forex investors. Today is September 3rd, 2015. And, you know, we've got non-farm payroll coming up tomorrow. It looks like it's going to be uh, dollar positive, but we will have to wait and see what happens. We've had major moves up and major moves back down over the last few sessions. And we had a very big drop, worked out in our favor. We made some money here. What we're looking for going forward. On the euro dollar, we're going to look for a sell at 1.1205. All right, so we're looking for price to retrace because we do have non-farm payroll. We're looking for some form of volatility, and we're going to look for price to move up. When it does that, then we will get into a sell. 1.1205. The dollar Swiss is another one that we seem to have some good price action on. We're going to look for a buy at 0.9675. So just right here at the highs and the lows, there's a support and resistance area right here. And we're going to use that as a buy point for uh, the dollar Swiss. Now, we don't want to get into too many trades. So we chose one other trade, and we're going to choose the Aussie dollar, which we think uh, is another good pick for us. There we go. And the Aussie dollar, we're going to look for price action to... Uh, for us to take advantage of price action at one at 0 0.7100, okay? And that's where we had previous areas of support and resistance there as well. Guys, we're also in a New Zealand dollar sell, and that New Zealand dollar sell allowed us to get in. Just so that you know, we're in profit here, or uh, we're right actually right at break even. Let me take a look at it actually. Yeah, we're in profit here on the New Zealand dollar trade that we have, and we're going to wait for that thing to drop further so we can collect, make our profit off of it. So if you're in the New Zealand dollar sell, stay in that sell as well. Guys, those are our trades for September 3rd, going into September 4th, non-farm payroll. Have a good weekend and happy trading. All the best. Bye-bye.